I'm a concealed carry permit holder, and I like to carry my small, slim, lightweight Car CM9 single stack 9mm with me just about everywhere I go. And in order to do that, I need a good, solid holster. The DeSantis SOF Tuck is just such a holster. Stick around for my review of it. Hey my friends, Late Boy Scout here. Thanks so much for tuning in to my review of this DeSantis Soft Tuck Holster, or SOF Tuck, however you want to say it. 106D6 is the number on it. Made in USA! Hey, all right. Let's cheer for a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I'll take something made in USA anytime I can. It's a nice solid leather holster with a nice reinforced top. Makes it so it doesn't collapse in your waistband, okay? It doesn't fold in half completely so that when you go to reholster or just put your gun back into your holster, it's not hard to do, even though this thing is wedged between your body and your belt, okay? And, you know, it does. It collapses when it's in there. You guys carry, any of you that carry inside the waistband know that full well. It does that. This gun, as you can tell, does not use the entire holster. It has a little space left over there. That's because it's made for a wide variety of guns. And I'm going to show you those right now. Go ahead and pause the video and read that if you so choose. And there's a little more information for you. This is the bag that it came in. Very simple. Yeah, I wouldn't need any more or expect any more. A little warning on the back. Okay, they have to do that for legal reasons, I suppose. Now, one of the things that makes this holster so interesting to me, not just the good reinforced top and the solidly built leather and the suede that's very comfortable, but look at that clip. All right, what's so special about it? I'll get into it here and I'll tell you what's special about it. This is what attracted me to this particular holster. I was looking for a number of options for my car CM9, and this is one of the options I wanted to try out. Here's the reason why. The clip, as you can see, folds over and then hooks again. So what that means is it goes inside your waistband, your waistband itself, that means the pants, kind of come up and stop right there. Then this goes over your pants and then comes and hooks underneath your belt. All right, so what that means is instead of just kind of coming down over the top, like something like uh, this old Galco does, it actually comes and hooks underneath it. Now that's special, okay, because it helps to um, give less of a uh, sort of profile uh, of this holster. It's harder for people to know that you have it on because they don't see it coming over your belt. They see this little tab, if they're looking closely, coming up from under your belt. They won't even know what that is. That's the idea anyway. If it's going to be concealed, you make it concealed, right? That's what we're supposed to do. So you make it really, really well hidden. And uh, this helps you accomplish that. And it's also, as you can see, since it kind of comes way down here, it means that your waistband, once again, there, okay, so where can your shirt go? Here, dude! Your shirt can go here, and you can actually wear a tucked-in shirt with this holster. Of course, you're going to have to practice your draw, you know, yanking your shirt out and getting the gun out. No problem. Practice makes perfect, and everything requires practice. But you've got that option. So if you dress with a tucked in shirt, often, and uh, a good number of people do, this is a good option for that. Not only can you tuck your shirt in behind that clip, but you can actually cant the clip. And that was the other thing I really wanted to point out. You can turn this right here. They've got a little nut, a little bolt right there that you can loosen up with the provided Allen wrench. Yeah, it came in the package. You can loosen that up and cant that however you choose. They even provided a little diagram for ways to do it. Strong side. It's about how my, I've got mine canted right there. Okay. About like that. Cross draw. Okay, so that would be like, you know, put down sort of in the appendix carry, something like that. Small of the back. Here's a way that you would do that. Man, I mean, that's really cool. They've given you all the options. All the options in one holster. That's pretty sweet, man. You know? Yeah, I mean, most, most holsters, right, you have to buy them specially made to be mounted a certain way, to wear a certain way. And they've got the, the holes in them here, the holes in them there, 
and you can't really adjust that one holster to be used in different ways, but this one is made to do just that. Adjust it and carry how you wish. So that's pretty much the coolest thing about this holster in my mind. Are there any big downsides? Well, of course it's leather, so whatever downsides associate, you associate with leather are all gonna be there. Uh, what else? Well, there's no real retention, you know, no snap of any kind, but you know, a good, good number of these um, inside the waistband holsters don't have anything like that. It's really just retained by friction. And does this retain well by friction? What do you think? What do you think? I'm not holding it there, I'm not pinching anything. Yep, I think it does. It retains well enough by friction. I don't have a problem with that. What other downsides might there be? Uh, well, I talked about the clip and glorified the clip as a big plus, but I'm also gonna say it's a little bit of a downside. And I'm just gonna say, you know, well, the reason for that is this area right here. <laughs> Again, that's the thing that makes it cool and the thing that makes it eh, kind of a, Kind of uncomfortable. I'll leave it at that. I'll, I won't leave it at that, but I'll start by saying that. It's a little bit uncomfortable because this little ball, this little nut is kind of like protruding from your pants all the time and it's kind of weird. I, I, you know, kind of feels a little bulky in there because of that. So I wish, I wish they had a way to accomplish this, you know, create this effect and do this, have this mechanism on there without adding that little bulk there. I don't think they really can. I don't think they'll really find a way. I don't, this is kind of what you get. If you really need this sort of adjustment, you know, then you're going to have to pay for some hardware down there. You're going to have to pay for the slight discomfort, a little extra bulk of a little bit of hardware down there, and some reinforcement, of course. You can tell that there's a little bit of reinforcing leather to make that possible. And let's just take the handgun out for a second and look at that without it. So that's interesting how they did that. What that means is this bolt connects to this piece of leather and then that piece of leather is sewn to this one so that the, none of that hardware can come into contact with your gun. Well, that's clever and that's, that's some well thought out uh, stitching right there, some well thought out design. So I applaud you guys for doing that. Well done, DeSantis, well done. Okay, so there you go guys. That's my review of the DeSantis Soft Tuck or SOF Tuck Concealed carry inside the waistband holster. It's got some upsides, it's got some downsides. It is what it is, and it's not priced too badly, so you might want to take a little bit of a hard look at it. And thank you for taking a hard look at this video. I really appreciate your views. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the late Boy Scout, and I'll see you later.